Thank you. Uh, Naomi Shiman, University of Minnesota. Um, there's so much that's been going on at this incredibly wonderful conference. And I think one of the things that's, that, at least for me, is emerging is just how deep these problems go and how fundamental they are, not just to moral thinking, moral theorizing, but to ontology. I mean, what kinds of things there are. And I think we're trapped in overly simple pictures, or we demand overly simple pictures, that moral considerability is going to be determined by what kind of thing one is, as though that's a fact about this thing taken in abstraction or isolation. And I think if we pick up on the strains that have been running through the conference, and, and most recently in, in Eva's remarks about how deep relationship goes, um, I mean, my, it isn't just that Eva cares about Sesha differently than about an animal. I care about Sesha. I've never met Sesha. Sesha is Eva's daughter. Everybody is somebody's son or daughter. It's a deep and important fact about human beings that they start out inside the body of another human being. Our moral lives would be utterly different if people were created in test tubes and raised in laboratories. I can't speculate about how they'd be different. I'm a Wittgensteinian, I don't do that kind of thing. Um, but I don't think we should do that kind of thing because our moral imaginations need to be enlarged by the lives that we actually live, the relationships we actually enter into, and the kind of enlargement of moral imagination that leads us to take non-human animals more seriously, to care about their pain and their suffering, is extraordinarily, and it's deeply important. And there are people who are helping to push me in that direction as, as a carnivore, it's hard, but I'm being pushed, but I'm not being pushed by people who analogize cognitive capacities. I'm being pushed by, by pictures, by images, by stories, by the enlargement of sympathies. The other thing about relationship is I've adopted a feral cat. The ontological status of that animal has changed. It's not just that you can't do things to her now that you could perhaps when she was feral because it would hurt me. She's a different kind of being because of that. Um, when Duchamp took a urinal and stuck it on the wall, he changed the ontological status of that urinal. I mean, the ontological status of things does not inhere in them as separable individuals. It's all of it relational. And that means we live in a world of relationships, of stories, of enlargement of moral imagination. And the idea that we can replace that hard, embodied, relational work with thought experiments, I think does, it just leads us astray. Thank you.